Have you ever wanted to do something more interesting with your deck than just stain it brown? That's what I wanted to do. So this is how I took my ordinary deck, which had been stained brown, and covered it with a rainbow of colors, which made it a lot more bohemian and cozy, and was a lot more fun to do. If you want to do this too, I would recommend starting with some Oops paint, which are cans of paint that have been returned for a really good price and are, have a lot of interesting colors. Then get yourself some crafts paints in these small bottles. Any color you like will do. Then using a scraper, clean off a section of your porch, get down into the cracks and remove any twigs or dirt. Sweep as you go. You don't need to power wash to do this kind of painting because this kind of paint will absorb any kind of grit or small amount of stains and you'll never see it again. What I did with a can of Oops paint is wet the surface in large patches, usually along one plank. Then I took my crafts colors and I squirted it right into the wet paint. Then I was able to get a pretty thick coating of paint, which I worked along the plank and I worked into every little crack and crevice that I could. This was a nice thick coating and with a good varnish on top of this, this will last pretty long. If you don't like it, however, just don't varnish it. It will wear off very quickly because this is not meant for exterior paint jobs. This is really more of the kind of paint you would use for interior. So it's very important to use varnish later. So after you've got a wet paint area, take some interesting colors that you've picked out from the crafts department. Here's sort of a day glow green that I thought was fun. Squirt that on and with your paintbrush, here I'm using about a one and a half inch brush and work it into your main color. The idea about using one main color will help to create a kind of harmony on your project. So I started with quite a lot of blues and greens, which I think is a good idea. But then as I went along, I started getting a lot more bold and trying other colors. If your paint is too thick, just put a little bit of water in it like this, and you'll find it a lot easier to work into all those cracks and crevices. I found that painting with this kind of paint uh, did a lot to stop any areas that were prone to rot, which was a really nice bonus. I also found that painting on vertical areas lasted a lot longer than these horizontal areas. So here I've started teaching myself how to be a little bit more experimental with the application of paint, and this is how you do this. You can just pat it on, you can splash it on, and you can work it into some of the other areas that you've already covered and think of it as kind of like in a way of doing abstract painting or impressionistic painting. Here I've started using a scraper and I recommend doing this if you like the look of distressed or shabby chic paint finishes. This is a good way to make it look like reclaimed lumber and you can work it over another color without making a third color. It keeps the color that you're scraping pretty much whole. Here I am splashing some more water to create some interesting blended effects. Always have a cup of water on hand. You'll really find that this will help you in your work. Here I was using some bolder colors. I do recommend that you give yourself permission to use some interesting colors and even metallics. The time I used metallic paint on this deck, it came out so beautiful. I really would like to do it again. Now see, this is how the background of my deck looks now. It's in a private area, so only really I see it, but it made a really pretty backdrop for photography. And like I said, it does prefer preserve the wood as well. Here it is with some tulips, and 
here's a little before and after look at it. So here's the area that I was painting earlier in this video and it looks like it's drying a bit so I'm going to throw a tarp over it so my cats and dogs don't step in it while it's drying. And here it is, dry and ready to be varnished, looking great. 